guys, it's Hannah. Welcome back to my channel. So, today is Christmas Eve Eve. Happy Christmas Eve Eve. In a last minute attempt to get into the holiday spirit, today I want to paint my nails for Christmas. I mean, not just like, you know, painting them red and calling it a day. Hell no. We are doing nail art today, people. <laughs> I'm telling you, when I was younger, I used to go so hard with nail art. I would paint my nails all the time. I never got my nails done until a year or two ago. A lot of the time, I have acrylics on, but for the past few months, I haven't because literally, first of all, during the semester, I did not have time to go to the nail salon. I just did not have time. So I just took my acrylics off and we've been rocking with the natural nails for months. I never really paint them because I get so annoyed because my polish chips within like three days, two days, it's, I'm like, why am I even going to the trouble? But Christmas is in two days. I don't really care if they chip. I just want to have some fun and paint them today. So these are our canvases that we're working with today. So we're gonna see what we can do today. And I am so excited. These are all of the nail polishes that I have. To be completely honest, I don't even know what's in here. Whenever I do paint my nails, I use the same like two colors. I really wanna do like a white. Oh God, okay. Wow, do these expire? Oh my God. The expiration date on this one says 24 months. I think I got this 10 years ago. I'm not kidding. But I think it might be the only plain white that I have. Like, is it bad? <laughs> Let me look it up. What happens if you use expired nail polish? Keep that bad. Using nail polish after it expires definitely isn't dangerous to your health, but shouldn't expect the perfect color consistency or overall look after approximately two years. If I don't have any other options, then what the f this is what we gotta go with. I'm not kidding. I probably have had this since middle school and I'm 21 years old. I didn't prepare for this. I came up with this idea last night because I saw somebody talking about getting their nails done for Christmas and like making them cute. And then I was like, I should do that. That'll be fun. So here we are. Oh, look at this, another one. This is 30 months. I have no fucking idea when I got this either, but this is black, so I'll probably need this as well. Anyway, so while I'm painting my nails, I'm not just gonna do a video of me painting my nails. I mean, honestly, I think it's something I would do, but that's not what we're doing today. I actually asked you guys on my Instagram, one of the little question stickers, and I asked if you had any burning questions for me. So I'm gonna be answering those while I'm painting my nails. So we have a double whammy video today. And when I was younger, in order to get the detail or whatever my nails, I would use toothpicks. So I have this whole thing of toothpicks and we're just gonna work with it. I also brought up this little paintbrush that I have been using for my paint by numbers, but it is so tiny. So if I need it, I will use that. Wow, wow. Okay, so I have a lot less to work with than I thought. Okay, so I looked up some pictures on Pinterest of nail art. So I'm gonna see if I can use those, but considering my lack of supplies, <laughs> should I just go with red and white theme? Because I feel like that's what I'm gonna have to do. So I'm definitely gonna have to just paint my nails white as a base coat. We're gonna get to it. Come to the conclusion that you're not gonna be able to see me while I'm doing this, but I will update you periodically as I am painting. I'm gonna try this really quick and see what happens. Oh, honestly, it looks fine right now. Like that looks fine. What are they talking about? All right, let me get onto Instagram and see the responses on my question sticker. One of the questions that I saw a lot was, do you have a boyfriend? No, absolutely not. It's so funny, like a couple months ago, I said to my dad, I was like, you know, I, I really kind of do wish that I had a boyfriend. Kind of miss having like someone to talk to you all the time and who thinks I'm pretty and whatever. And he literally said to me, uh, Hannah, you don't have time for a boyfriend. And that snapped me back into reality. And I was like, you're right. And that was the end of that. So the answer is no. We have one hand done with our first coat of white. We're gonna move on to the other hand. Why don't you start a podcast? Okay, I have wanted to honestly start a podcast. I just love listening to podcasts. I think I say that at least once in every video, but the reason I haven't started one is because with school and YouTube, I already struggle, like, and especially last semester, it was just unbelievably difficult to balance school and YouTube. And the reason behind not doing a podcast right now is because I'm still in college and I only have one more semester. So I want to start one after I graduate when I have more time and I'm able to pursue more fun things like that. So who knows, maybe I will start one in 2021 after I graduate. Are you going to grad school? For a while, I wanted to go to grad school because I kind of was just panicking about graduating. For my entire life, at least the years that I can remember, I was always a student. I was always in school. And I kind of had a bit of an identity crisis when I started thinking about the fact that I'm gonna graduate from college in five months. I only have five 
five more months of having the title of being a student when I have been a student my entire life. I was strongly considering going to grad school and I honestly think it was just because I wanted to give myself an excuse to continue being a student. You know what I mean? I mean, it's still something that I'm considering. I have actually started an application. Honestly, when I was looking at the application, it was asking for all of these things like organizations you've been a part of and like leadership roles and whatever and job experience. But like my only relevant job experience is working for myself. Obviously, I know that that's a real job and you guys probably also know that that's a real job, but I don't know if they will think that it's a real job. Um, and if they don't, that's their loss because I think that I would be a fantastic student for them to have, so. A couple of people are asking what happened with your boyfriend. I'm not sure which one you're referring to. I've shown two boyfriends on my channel throughout the entirety of it. Most recent one, Kyler, we are still very close friends. It just didn't work out like from a relationship standpoint, but he's still one of my closest friends and I love him so much. Plans for post-grad. I mean, I already kind of touched on this a little bit with the whole grad school thing and still considering it, but I mean, especially with the state of the world right now and not really knowing honestly like what to expect from 2021 because I feel like we all went into 2020 thinking that it was going to be iconic and it was going to be fantastic and all of us were going to have the time of our lives and then that didn't happen. I have ideas for what I want to do but I don't have any like concrete plans right now also because I still have five more months of being in school so I'm just gonna like try and live in the moment. It's so hard for me to say what my future plans are for like really anything because life is so so unpredictable. Like if you would have asked me before I started my YouTube channel, like if you would have asked me like, where do you see yourself in five years? I simply would not have been able to say that I saw myself like where I am right now because I couldn't even imagine being where I am. You know what I mean? I do want to move though. And I have an idea of where I want to move, but again, that will be determined by the state of the world after I graduate. I have a weird thing where I don't like to say exactly what my plans are because I feel like that jinxes it in a way. I'm very superstitious. Obviously, you'll find out if I do move to this place, but, and it's not LA, by the way. Do you ever wish you weren't a commuter student and had roommates? No, because I wasn't always a commuter student. When I was at my previous school, I lived on campus and I did have roommates. I actually had a total of nine roommates in two years because my freshman year, I lived in a suite style dorm, meaning I had one roommate and two suite mates. And then sophomore year, we lived in an apartment style and I had one roommate and five other girls that lived in the same like apartment. And I'm someone who's very, I love to have my own space. I feel like it was a good experience for me to have and it helped me to grow a lot as a person. But at the end of the day, like not having my own space coupled with the fact that I did not like my old school and I was so unhappy there. Not having a place to go that was just completely mine. It was really, really detrimental to my mental health. I wanted my own room. I wanted my room back and I've been so happy, honestly. I'm so happy that I did move home and that I live with my family. I'm just, it is the best situation that I could have given myself, honestly. So I'm really, really glad that I did that. So I just painted the second coat. <laughs> they look so messy. I'm going to clean up the sides, I promise. These ones definitely look better than these. <laughs> I will work on it. Where do you want to travel once COVID is over? My first destination will be Italy, period. Because I was supposed to go to Italy, if you guys remember. Literally, I was supposed to fly out on Friday. I get a text from my best friend who was studying abroad in, in Florence, who I was going to visit on that Sunday, the Sunday before I was supposed to leave. Because we were planning on like going to Milan and going to Venice. She texts me and she goes, hey, just wanted to let you know that like Milan and Venice are in lockdown right now. And this was when COVID was first starting and Italy had their huge outbreak. I've always wanted to go to Italy. It was literally going to be a dream come true for me. As soon as COVID is over, I'm flying my ass to Italy. How is your love life? It doesn't exist. Actually, that's not true. My love life consists of me loving myself. And I think that that's so important. Okay, I sound sarcastic, but I'm actually being serious. I don't want to crave a relationship. I want to be so happy on my own and so content on my own. Honestly, quite like I am right now that I don't need anyone. You know what I mean? Like I'm never going to make somebody my entire life ever again. I want to have my own thing. I want them to have their own thing. And then, you know, we can come together and have our, our thing, but I want each of us to still be individuals, live our own lives. But at the end of the day, like come together. That's what I want. 
and until I find that, I refuse to get like super involved. I am super content just being on my own right now. Somebody asked, when are you making merch? Okay, I have been working on merch for months. I have been designing merch for months and I have the design that I am going to drop for my first merch drop. It's going to come in 2021. The reason that it has been so delayed is because COVID has very much impacted obviously everything, but the merch manufacturers, there's a lot of logistics behind it. And especially because I want my merch to be the highest quality that I can get right now. I could have put merch out months ago, but it wouldn't have been up to the standards that I have. And especially for my first ever merch launch, I want this launch to be good. I want it to be quality and I could have released merch months ago, but it wouldn't have been the quality that I wanted and it wouldn't have been the quality that you guys deserve. So that is why I am waiting. So I hope that you guys understand that. We've been working on it for months. Like my manager and I have been in contact with my team. I have a merch team. I have a company that I'm working through and we have samples coming in the mail to my house as we speak. Praying to God that it will be here in like January. If not January, then like sometime early 2021 because I really, really, really want you guys to have this and I'm so excited about it. Okay, so are these dry? I wanna make sure they're dry before I start doing designs and stuff. Oh, what is something everyone likes except for you? I might get heat for this, but it's not something that I necessarily don't like, but I've never seen Game of Thrones. And I think that I'm the only person in the world, honestly, that hasn't. It's not that I don't like it. I just never, I never watched it. And I've always had other shows that I wanted to watch more. So I just never like got around to it, but I feel like I'm the only person in the world that hasn't seen that show. This is a good question. Are you going to pursue YouTube full-time after you graduate or go corporate? This is something that I've been struggling with, especially when I had my whole identity crisis about graduating, I had this identity crisis too, because I, I genuinely am not 100% sure what path I want to go on. Ah, oh, already scratched one of them. Hate it here. Okay, everyone relax. I'm gonna try and do this really quick and see if I have the ability. Ooh, okay, I did one line. Looks decent. This is so scary for me for no reason. Yeah, I don't know why I thought I'd be able to talk and do this at the same time. I can't even breathe and do this at the same time. Wow. That does not look good. I don't have a steady hand. That's where I'm f***ing up. What the f*** is that? That might be the worst thing I've ever f***ing seen. Yeah, I'm gonna have to fix that. I'm just gonna like erase it and do another one because that is so pitiful. Let's try this. I am not good at this. This is awful. <laughs> this is the worst thing I've ever seen. Like, I'm not even kidding. This is so bad. I'm gonna have to redo all my nails. Well, anyway, this is not going well. So let me figure out how to do this one and see if it'd be any mother easier. Wow! This is bad. There's gotta be another way. I've literally already up four out of the 10 nails. This is not going as expected. I'm gonna take a little break, regroup, and I'll be back. Okay, so um, I took a breather. I had a little bit of a breakdown. I took all of the nail polish off because that was just bad. It was just embarrassing. And I formulated a new game plan. I actually just went ahead and painted my nails with this red color. So we're starting with a red base this time. My plan here is to do the bare minimum. What I'm planning on doing is taking the white and then just using this little paintbrush this time. And I'm going to dab some like white specks on the nails to make it look like snow. That's my plan because to be completely honest, like I have definitely lost my touch that I had when I was in the middle school. I overestimated my abilities. That's where we're at right now. And it's fine, we're fine. And they're still gonna be cute and they're still gonna be Christmassy because they're red and you know, snow and everything. Oh, I also put my hair up because I was getting super annoyed by the fact that the pieces were dangling in my face. So let's see how this goes this time. We're gonna pray. We're literally just gonna pray. <gasps> <gasps> Cute! They're big ass snowflakes, but whatever. They kind of do look like snow. I think it's definitely the brush effect. I think they're cute. So this is what we're gonna go with because this is what's working for me. Anyway, what was I talking about? I think I was talking about after college, am I planning on like getting a job in corporate or am I planning on continuing to do YouTube? So this kind of goes back to what I said earlier about not really being able to predict the future because there's so many things that could happen between now and then and 
I still have five months until I graduate. So I have so many avenues that I wanna go down kind of stemming from YouTube. Like I said earlier, I'm thinking I might wanna start a podcast. I have a bunch of different ideas for merch. And ultimately I love doing YouTube and I want to do YouTube for as long as I can. Does that mean that I won't get a job working for like a firm or something while doing YouTube? No, but I also wanna start my own business. I don't know exactly what I wanna do yet, but I feel like every time I have like an idea of something I want to do with my life, I always say that I'll like figure it out. And then I end up figuring it out by just having life experiences and meeting new people who, you know, can open new doors and like networking and learning new things and stuff. So I don't know. I really, really do enjoy advertising though. And I also really enjoy branding. And I think that if I do end up moving to the location that I want to move to, I think that that place as a whole is so so big for marketing in general and for you know advertising and branding and things like that so i think that i could potentially be exposed to a bunch of new opportunities i'm not ruling anything out at the end of the day you never really know where you can go with something unless you try i don't know if that even answered the question but those are my thoughts on that my nails could be better but they also could be worse i definitely think that this hand is better than the other hand these are the fingers i did with my right hand i think that these actually look more like snow these ones just look like dots to me but this is what we have i'm actually not even mad about it i think they're cute and that's really the best that i could do i wanted to paint like candy canes and snowmen and snowflakes and shit on there but then once i actually started to try and do that we we saw what happened. We saw the pictures and I realized that I needed to go in a different course. And that's really what life is about. When you fall down, you just have to get back up and try something else. That's gonna be it for today's video. Thanks for watching me struggle painting my nails on this amazing Christmas Eve Eve and listening to me ramble. With that being said, that is gonna be it for today's video. So thank you so much for watching. I hope that you liked it. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you stayed until this point in the video, comment down below, I'm a real one because you're a real one. If you wanna see more videos from me, make sure you hit the subscribe button. I post a new video every single Sunday after the 12 days of Christmas are over, of course. If you forget that I post a new video every single Sunday or if you just want to get notified right when I post, make sure you turn on my post notifications. It's the little bell icon so that you never miss an upload and you can get notified right when I post a new video. And yeah, I think that's it. I hope you guys all have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. <laughs>